The Dillman, as you know, is, is your club, um, it's the members club and it couldn't survive uh, without your support, uh, but absolutely it couldn't survive without the support and the hard work uh, of our magnificent staff. It's also always excelled when we've had fantastic volunteers and, and that's why you know, these people and all the people that work very hard during the week, whether it's darts, whether it's you know, other sporting activities or whether it's the kids' nights on Wednesdays. It's all the, the volunteers that really make this club. So a big thank you to all of the volunteers, here or not. I say, I, I say that particularly because my good friend standing here, George Middleton from Burring This Month, Red House Marketing, uh, we were chatting the other day and the Dillman Club has been in existence now for 42 years. And it was started by a group of friends who were working at Alba um, and who wanted a place to socialise and gather together. And it started in a private villa uh, and then moved to two other locations before it eventually settled here in Saar. Uh, one of the founding members, uh, Glyn Ashley, uh, is now retired in Australia, um, but sadly is suffering very badly from cancer, uh, as indeed are one or two other members of his family. But what we want to do today, and the, the reason for the, 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 the filming is no ego trip on our part. We obviously love having a, a bit of film footage of the club full, but it's absolutely to create a, a visual memory of the club that we're going to send back to Glyn uh, with our very, very best wishes and thanks for all the work that he put in in creating the club back uh, in 42 years ago and uh, giving him our very best wishes in his fight against uh, cancer. So, to Glyn, thank you very much from everybody at the Dillman today. Today, of course, we mark the 90th birthday of Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, but not to be missed as well is that uh, today, of course, is the 95th birthday of Prince Philip. So, big round of applause for His Royal Highness Prince Philip and Her Majesty the Queen. And we're about to play the national anthem. You've got to do that, haven't you? But I think beforehand it wouldn't uh, be fair to not have a bit of karaoke, George. No, no. I uh, uh, hope you're having a good time and enough from me. Thank you.
what, what, are your, what are your feelings about the guys that set up the German club? It was actually Bill Beddall, Alan Sterling and Glenn Ashley back in 42 years ago today. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of an institution in terms of... Um, in terms of Bahrain, when we first ever came to Bahrain, it was the first place we came to. And in fact, most of our friends we probably met down, if not at school, then we met down here. Uh, so for us, it's been a big part of our lives, I guess, over the last 10 years. Uh, it's a great place. It, it's not the Ritz, but you don't pay the Ritz prices. So, you know, it's fantastic. The guys that uh, set it up originally did a fantastic job and uh, they've obviously left it in very capable hands because it's gone on to great things. When they have days like this, great. It's fabulous. It's good fun. Absolutely fabulous, and you know what? I think we we can do more like this. I think the members want it. We want it. It's it's great. It's fabulous. Very very nice. Nice to honour the Queen's birthday. Because we do it over there, right? So great to see the Dolman Club full again. Uh, families, kids, really good. Uh, celebrate the Queen's birthday. Uh, good friends and family. Lovely food, great drink, good time. What a fabulous time to be back at the Dealman Club. Haven't been here for a while. To see it packed on a Friday for the Queen's birthday, for Prince Philip's birthday, and for the founders of the Dealman Club, a truly magnificent occasion. So we thank everyone who organised it. It's, it's, 42, it's 42 years old, it's still going strong. <laughs> I think it is a great club. It's been here for a long time. It has a good set of facilities complementing the other ones on the island and so we can find a good balance as an expat and today has been brilliant. Oh, we've loved it, we've had a fantastic time. I'm still recommending a football team. All right, he still wants a football pitch. He needs a football pitch to Dilman Club. So I'm an expat, I'm an, a Wally kid and I remember when the Dilman Club was in the country club and we used to go there as, at discos when I was a teenager. So I remember those days, Gay Hopkins was the DJ, had his little cycling on tricycles in the dance hall. I'm so sorry. You remember getting I do. No longer with us. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> He's gone. He's oh, disappeared. goodness me. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was alright. And Rob like, McCready. You, like, Jim, you don't actually don't like Gay Hopkins. Well, well he's in, yeah, he was alright. the only one on this whole island. Really? Came to the Dillman Club like 10, 15 years ago or whatever, first time, and then 10 years later ended up living in Bahrain so it was like almost coming home coming home and it, it's been fantastic can you just tell me about this was essentially your idea wasn't it this whole it day was today. yeah can just because I thought they should that? do something because it being a British club I thought they should celebrate Absolutely yeah right. yeah well, it's spectacular and, and Mark completely just actually the Dillman club <laughs> yeah. not the British club but that's like because it's a British oh, club. A British she club. said it was a British club. She didn't say it was the British club. Don't worry, he doesn't listen. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> Glyn, they say that I'm the king rapper for Bahrain, but I'm sorry, you are the king of the Dillman Club. And thank you so much for everything you've done, for everybody you've touched so gently in life. That shouldn't have happened, should it? <laughs> Take 37. Let's have another one. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I must say, Glyn Ashley, you, and to see the legacy that you've left in Bahrain for the few years that you were here, and it's still going on, day to day. Your dream has come through. Your vision is still alive. Thank you, Glyn, for everything. Thank you from Bahrain. Thank you from all of us. We love you. And happy birthday, Your Majesty. Message to Her Majesty Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. From Bahrain. From Bahrain. From Bahrain. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Bye. Happy birthday, King Philip. Prince Prince. Prince. <laughs>